What's up guys? Welcome back to Construction Tips. My name is Sam. Today we're going to build a simple wooden deck gate for the top of these stairs. Step number one, we need to figure out what we want to build the gate out of. This deck was built out of treated pine, so we're going to build the gate out of treated pine as well. Step number two, we need to measure the width and the height of this opening so we can figure out how big we're going to build the gate and how much wood we need to buy. So. We need to measure this opening at the top, 36 and 3 quarters, measure it at the bottom to double check it's square, 36 and 3 quarters. So we want our gate to be 3 quarters of an inch shorter than this opening, so we have 3 eighths of an inch gap on either side, so the gate has room to open and close. As far as the height goes for the gate, we're going to build the gate so it goes from the bottom of this bottom rail to the bottom of this top rail. So that is 33 inches. So our gate's going to be 33 inches tall and 36 inches wide. And we can measure out 36 inches and we can get a rough idea on how many balusters we're going to use. The space between these can't be more than 4 inches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the edges of our gate are going to be two by fours, so we can take out two. So we only need six balusters. Depending on our spacing, we might end up only using five. Grab your notepad, make a rough sketch of the plans so you know how much wood to buy. We want 3 eighths of an inch gap on either side, which means our gate length is going to be exactly 36 inches. So we're going to go by 3 2 by 4s and 6 balusters. Alright, we just got home from Home Depot. We got all our materials and our hardware. We got our 3 2 by 4 by 8s, our 6 balusters. We have two and a half inch GRK multi-purpose screws made for treated lumber. We're going to use the two and a half inch ones for the balusters. We're going to use the four inch screws to connect the frame together. We also grabbed some black T-hinges and a self-adjusting latch for the gate. When you're picking out your balusters, always double check they're not warped or bowed or a lot of these things are even cracked. The main tools we're going to use for this project are a miter saw to make our 45 degree cuts, an impact driver, a drill, and a tape measure. If you don't have a miter saw, you could definitely use a circular saw or even a hand saw if you have to. Step number four, we're going to build the frame of the gate. So the top and bottom piece are going to be 36 inches cut on 45s and the two side pieces are going to be 33 inches cut on 45s. Double check their 36. Alright, we have all four pieces cut. The top and the bottom are 36, and the sides are 33. Lay them out. So we're going to take our speed square and line up the corners as nice as we can. We're going to pre-drill two holes with a countersink bit and we're going to put two four inch screws in the corner just like this. These quick clamps are a great way to hold your pieces in place. The last corner came together pretty nicely. Once you build your nice little frame to double check it fits nicely because it's still easy to adjust. Set a scrap 2x4 on the table, lay your frame on top of it. 
This is going to be the cross piece. It's going to go from the bottom inside corner to the top outside corner. This is the this is the top of the gate. Line up the two by four, just like this. This is the side that's going to have the hinges on it, the, and it needs to be lined up right into the corner, just like this. Once you get the cross brace lined up like this, draw a line at the top and the bottom and make your cuts. Alright, we got the cross brace put in. goes from the bottom inside corner to the top outside corner. That's going to give it the most support and make it last the longest. Step number six is the fun part, figuring out how to space the balusters so we have an even space between each one. So there's a bunch of different ways you can figure out the spacing for your balusters, and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take one, two, three, four, five balusters, and we're going to count the spaces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. Now we're going to take all the balusters and push them together line them up with this edge right here. Now we're going to measure the leftover space. Leftover space is 22 and a quarter. So now we need to divide 22 and a quarter by the six spaces and see what we get. So grab your calculator. 22.25 divided by 6 is 3.7. So each of our spaces needs to be 3.7 inches. Then is about 3 and 11 sixteenths. So we cut two blocks at 3 and 11 sixteenths and we can use them as our spacers. Now that we know that our math was correct, let's start screwing them in. So we got these ones lined up with the edge, put the first baluster in. Just repeat the process all the way across. Move the spacer, slide a new baluster against it, make sure it's lined up at the top, drill your holes and put in the screws. These spaces turned out perfect, check it out. Starts out 3 and 11 sixteenths. Ends perfectly right on. Now that it's all spaced out nicely, you can add your second row of screws. Alright, the gate's all put together. All we have to do is attach it and hook up the latch. We want the gate to be the same height as this bottom rail, so we're going to take some 2x4s that fit just under here, set the gate on top of them. Alright, 
this gate's all finished up, let me know what you think.